All right, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I want to actually just talk about the state of Linux gaming and why I think more and more people should just go ahead and try it out. Uh, I really think if we can just make Linux gaming the norm um, when it comes to gaming, which I think the Steam Deck is doing a great job of, you know, bringing that to light and, and trying to get us, you know, in that direction. But I think it's up to us to really make sure that we make it happen. Um, and to do so, we need more and more people to jump on to Linux and game. Um, that way, these um, developers and AAA studios will start appreciating Linux and actually, you know, making things available for them. Really, really the only thing that, the main thing, I won't say the only thing, the main thing that is the biggest issue right now with Linux gaming is anti-cheat. Um, so if you want to play, you know, multiplayer games um, like Call of Duty, some other ones, those are pretty much the, the main things that you're not going to have the capability of playing um, on Linux, you'll have to either, you know, dual boot or find another means of, of playing that, which, you know, there's streaming services and other things that, that can accomplish that. But I really just want to kind of talk about the fact that, you know, Linux is not as, you know, daunting or scary as it seems. Uh, I mean, I know you see all these different, you know, types of um, terminals on my uh, screen right now, but you don't have to use that. You know, I use Linux um, as my daily operating system, so I do you know, know how to use the terminal and, and how to install stuff through there to so update my system and, and do, you know, pretty much anything through there. But I, I feel like the average user doesn't need that. So you really just need your, you know, your normal desktop um, that you can ju jump right into. And quite honestly, if you know how to install an app on your phone, um, you pretty much can install an app on Linux. It's, it's quite easy. Um, most um, Linux operating systems, which are called distributions, have uh, like a software center. Um, and in that software center, you can literally just scroll through and see what, you know, apps are available or you can search it. So if you're working, you need something like Slack, you literally just type in Slack in the search bar and then you have Slack here and then you're able to install Slack, you know, directly onto your computer. And it's literally just that easy. You don't have to, you know, really touch the terminal at all um, to be able to install an application. Nine times out of ten, they have some type of software store for you to download the applications that you need. And that even and, and even some games and stuff you can download through here, but primarily you know most people who are gaming on a uh, computer is going to you know download their games through Steam, um, and there is also another other launchers you can use like Lutris um, and Heroic Launcher, which enable you to be able to download things like um, Epic Games and um, and also Battle.net for other games like that. But really the the biggest thing is uh, I, I just want to show people that it's not that. It's not as hard as it as it seems to be able to use Linux as a daily operating system or just for gaming itself. It's very easy to, you know, just jump into Steam and jump into a game and download it. Um, most games just, you know, work out of the box. Um, like I said before, it um, the main things that uh, you really won't be able to play is ones that don't have the anti-cheat uh, unlocked on Linux, which it's really just a, like, not exactly a flip of a switch, but um, you really just have the, the developer has to enable it on their end uh, in order to have uh, Linux supported for their anti cheat. And a lot of people just don't because they don't see um, that there's enough audience um, to do so. So if we can, you know, start using it and become a big enough audience, persuade them to start, you know, including Linux um, when they are developing uh, for certain, you know, softwares and for games as well. So, yeah, I really want, you know, all of uh, the Linux heads, heads out there, the Linux community, you know, to start sharing this, you know, with other people, um, telling them, you know, how much better, you know, Linux is for gaming. And in my opinion, it is a better operating system as a whole than you would, you know, use on Windows. Um, Windows is starting to do some crazy stuff with their co-pilot and all those other things that, you know, I just don't agree with. And, you know, I don't want to be a part of that. They kind of try to kind of trap you in. Um, their ecosystem, and you really just have to <laughs> give yourself away to to, to them um, in order to use their platform. Where Linux, there's really next to no privacy issues um, whatsoever, and majority of things are open source and free. So you really don't have to worry about that. And it, to me, it's just a better better experience. And I know a lot of people out there would agree with me um, on that. So if we can, you know, share this video around, share uh, different tools and tips um, for people to get started with Linux. Um, we'll start creating more videos like this um, so you can see more and uh, start joining the journey. 
So, all right. If you guys uh, like this video, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you to the next one. Peace.